We want to find out why our newsman's credentials were held up for President Reagan's uh, press conference this next week. You people are afraid of me. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Les Nesman here is no threat to anyone. We stand by him, we vouch for him. Mr. Carlson? <laughs> well, here it is. Here what is? It's your radical affiliations, Mr. Nesman. <laughs> What radical affiliation? I'm talking about your father. Daddy? Twice accused of selling government secrets. My father ran a laundromat in Dayton, Ohio. Well, according to this information, he was also a barber at the Pentagon for a time. Which Pentagon? As well as a proven card-carrying communist. Les. I'll see you back, Les. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you back the state. It is inconceivable to me that Les Nesman's father was a communist. Was? Mm, is. Uh huh. Well, now you see, now that, that proves that this thing is full of mistakes because his father died three years ago. I went to the funeral. Every laundromat manager in Dayton was at that thing. No, that was his stepfather. I'm talking about his real father. Well, there's no way to tell you this, Les, except straight out. Les, your father, he's alive. Well, he's buried. <laughs> I'm not talking about Lester Nesman Sr. Your father's real name is Harvey Morehouse. He, he's communist, or was. He divorced your mother just about the time you were born. Now, the Secret Service assumes that you know all of this because he's your radical affiliation. And that's only because his barber shop's over in Kentucky, a couple of hours away. Do you have any children that you know of? <laughs> That's a funny joke. <laughs> Pretty old, but it's it's funny. Do you have any children? No, not really. Oh, I have a boy, but I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him or his mother since he was one month old. How do you know you haven't seen him? He could have come in here for a haircut. Oh, no, no. He doesn't live around here. He lives in Dayton. I'm from Dayton. No kidding. Hey, maybe you know him. Moved to Cincinnati. You came all the way from Cincy for a Harvey Morehouse haircut? Hey, wow. <laughs> Mr. Morehouse, why don't you find your son? No, uh, he's better off wherever he is. I know that. Mr. Morehouse. Look, call me Pops. Everyone does. <laughs> Pops. It's funny that's your nickname because... Wait a minute, let me tell you something. When I gave up my son years ago, I did it to save the boy a lot of trouble. Without getting into it, I didn't want any of the things they claimed that I was doing to be put on him. <laughs> 